All right, thanks. So in this demo, what we're going to show is how Prophecy's integration with the Microsoft Intelligent Data Platform helps end users find and identify the data they need, ultimately improve the value of that data, creating certified information, and then consuming that data back with them Power BI. In this scenario, I'm a data steward for a company called City Limits Bikes, and we just acquired a new organization. And my management team has now asked for a better understanding of who our new joint customer base is and who our best customers are within that customer base. And so here I am in Power BI. I've imported some data from our different operational applications, some sales data. And I immediately run into a problem. And this is a pretty common problem, which is I have a duplicate customer records from within and across these different operational applications. You can, and you can see that here. We have Alyssa Cox shows up a couple of times. And we have Full Sports Supply, which is one of our larger customers, who shows up four times within this list. So fortunately for me, I know that our organization has adopted Microsoft Purview for data governance and Prophecy for master data management. Between these two applications, I'll be able to hopefully find and identify a better certified data set, a set of customer data for building out this analysis, um, and ultimately import that data from Prophecy into my Power BI model. So let's see how that works. To start with, here I am in Microsoft Purview. And Purview really provides visibility across my entire data state. And since Prophecy has a native integration with Microsoft Purview, I know that I'll be able to find the certified customer data that I need for my analysis here within Purview. To find that information, I do a search here for customer, and I get a number of different assets back. And the one I'm interested in is, is the one here that's marked as certified customer. Right? Okay, this is customer data coming from Prophecy. And I go ahead and open up this asset, and I can see not only the, the technical metadata that's been published from Prophecy into Purview, but also some governance information that's been captured by my governance program. I can see an asset description. I can see some schema classifications. I can see all the technical metadata that's been published here by Prophecy. I can see the underlying schema here, all the different data elements are available. This is definitely all the information that I need. I can also see some contact information. Who should I contact? Uh, you know, who are experts on this data set? Um, who, who ultimately owns or is responsible for it? And last but not least, I can see the lineage of this data set. What I find here is something interesting. That is that this raw source customer data is actually being matched and generating a golden record using Prophecy's matching engine. The clustering process creates and identifies groups of like records, and then a promotion process ultimately creates and populates my golden record data set with the best information available. So I can see this process documented from Prophecy here within Purview. And in fact, this golden record data set sounds more like what I'm after. So I'll switch to that asset, which has also been published into Purview by Prophecy, and looking at the overview here, I see that this is indeed the customer golden records post m &A. So this will include all my customers from my existing organization, as well as the new entity that we just acquired. Going over here to the properties, I actually see I have a, a link here that will actually take me from Purview into this data set within Prophecy where I can inspect it and make sure this is in fact what I need to use. So now here I am in Prophecy, and here I'm looking at my, my golden record or my customer masters. Uh, one thing that's nice here is that I also have uh, access to that same governance information from Purview natively within Prophecy. I click on this Purview icon, and I see that same description. I see the same glossary terms. I can see the same experts and owners all available to me natively within Prophecy. And if I needed to navigate back to this asset in Purview, I'm able to do that here directly from within Prophecy. Now, let's look at one of those customer examples where we saw some obvious duplicate data in our data set. And if we search for full sports supply, here we find the golden record for full sports supply. And as we open up this match group, we see a couple things. One, we can see that we do, in fact, have four source records that were all matched together, creating our golden records. So that's a good sign. And we see that one of these is actually marked as a proposed match. And to understand why that happened, we can click on Prophecy's visualizer which actually visualizes the formation of this group and helps you understand who matched to whom and why. So in this scenario, we see that our Salesforce source record really represented the central actor that everybody else seemed to match to. I can see the data that came from my other different source applications, such as our legacy city limits system, as well as our new Dynamics application. And if I click into the details of the score, I can see that the reason that this matched with a score of 0.94 was because the names were slightly different between these two records. 
And I can drill into the details here and see the underlying math that the prophecies matching algorithm use to determine the similarity between these two values. Now I'm confident that this is in fact a good match. So now I'm able to flip over to survivorship and mark this match as approved. So in addition to the matching process, Prophecy has also automatically populated the golden record with the best available information from my different source applications. So here we can see that the name of my golden record came from my Salesforce system, but my phone number actually came from Dynamic CRM. So this allows golden records to be automatically populated without any work on behalf of the end users, but also allows end users to come in here and override those automated rules in the event that there's a better value available from one of my other applications. So that's a look at customer data within Prophecy, but I also knew that I'll be doing some work with product data, and I'd like to go check out what's available from Prophecy in regards to product. I switched to my product fast app. Let me go ahead and take a few minutes to look at a couple popular product categories. So drilling into retail and touring bikes, I can see all the various touring bikes that we have available out there in the market. And the first thing I notice here is that I have three records that are marked the data quality issue. And this is a data quality rule that's been defined in Prophecy. In this case, this is catching an error where the ratio between our standard costs and our MSRP um, don't meet our requirements. And as I look at others like records nearby, it's pretty obvious that for whatever reason, these three records were keyed in um, with, a, with a typo around the actual dollar amount. Fortunately, Prophecy makes it really easy for me to correct this error by doing a quick update, selecting the MSRP, and assigning the new corrected value. Now, since Prophecy's data quality engine is always running automatically in the background, these were automatically reevaluated in real time and that data quality issue has gone away. Now, jumping over here to my mountain bikes product category, I see I have a different kind of data quality issue. In this scenario, we're using Prophecy's machine learning based anomaly detection engine to spot an anomaly in our data. In this case, we have an MSRP whose value is out of line with other like records within our data set. And as we look here, we can see that this MSRP is clearly an outlier um, and, the, and the error is obvious here in that someone's accidentally keyed in an extra five in the MSRP. We can easily correct this issue by modifying that value. And upon saving that record, our machine learning engine has automatically rescored that record against our ML model and our anomaly has gone away. Prophecy also has the ability to visually display the relationships in your data. Opening up Prophecy's relationship management experience, we see a graph-based visualization of this individual product. We can see the prices that it's been extended to, the country that it's manufactured in, and who the manufacturer is, et cetera. In this scenario, I notice something that doesn't look right. I know that Felt Bikes is a US-based bicycle company, um, but the country of manufacture is marked as Germany. Using this experience, we can navigate to different records within our data set to understand it. In this scenario, I know that Germany is incorrect and this bicycle is really manufactured in the United States. Prophecy makes this really easy to correct within this relationship management experience. I have to clear out the incorrect Germany value and select United States as a country of manufacture. All right, so I've cleaned up some product data as well, but back to my original challenge, which is my customer analysis. Hopping back into Power BI, I've now used Purview to find the certified data set that I need and verify that that is indeed the information that I'm looking for to complete my analysis. Getting that information from Prophecy into Power BI is really easy because Prophecy has a certified connector from Power BI. To access this connector, you simply go to the Get Data menu, and like you would for any other native Power BI data source, you find and select the Prophecy connector and connect. The only information required is the URL of your Prophecy environment, at which point you'll be automatically authenticated and have access to the data that you have rights to within Prophecy. Once I've imported that data into my Power BI model and connected it up with the other sales data that was already there, I can now go get a much more complete picture of who my customers are. Using our golden records, we're now able to consolidate together our four different representations of full sports supply using our golden record 
And now we have a complete picture of our relationship with Full Support Supply. Okay, so we've shown in this demo a lot of the details around how proxy can be used to produce certified data. But for most of your end users, this entire process will be invisible. For your users, what Prophecy can provide is certified data that any user can simply access and use in tools such as Power BI, making it easier for them to use that data to drive better business decision making.